Hi, today I want to show you how uh, I use the Theta V360 camera to create a, a 3D virtual tool on, uh, on the qpix.com website. Uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, first of all, I want to show you the hardware I'm using. This one is a Kuhlmann uh, tripod. It's a very old one. I bought it in the 90s for the camcorder. Uh, as you can see here, I was using a camcorder uh, in America and it was quite big. This, this uh, will fit to the shoulder. Uh, I also have an old video showing this tripod, uh, how to use it. And uh, this is quite heavy. Uh, it's not very portable, but the, uh, the upside is uh, for this purpose very safe to use it and the other one is I want to show is this the selfie stick I have to uh, put the selfie stick on the tripod <coughs> this one uh, I won't get very long this is the maximum height and my this is my selfie stick and I have to fix it and extend the selfie stick to max so and I can put it here look like the spring is no longer the old one is no longer so I hope this is stable so now the top I have to put the data V camera so here is the bottom tripod and my selfie stick go up to the top and I put the camera here. So I've gone to my uh, apartment and taken uh, 17 photos with my Ricoh camera and uh, the next thing I have to do is to upload the photos to Qpix uh, website and you can sign up for free. Click on here. Then you can s sign in uh, with your Facebook account or LinkedIn. I'm using the Facebook account and uh, I already log in Facebook. It just goes straight to my uh, account here and here is a sample tool and this is uh, what I have uh, tested with my own photos uh, now I want to create a new one click on the new 3d tool so I can give it a name here say big boss 97 and uh, you have to scroll down to see here and this is the part you can upload your photos what i need to do is very simple uh, just select all and drag and drop to here uh, now i want to submit it click on submit my 17 photo are around 35 megabytes and it will start uploading and uh, generate the 3D tool and the last time I've done it, it took about an hour and it will send you an email at the end so let's come back later now we started uh, doing the calculation all the files are uploaded so I received an email uh, at 1107 and uh, you can see the project was uh, uh, when I started created the project was 1010 and it's about one hour uh, so the first thing I want to see is uh, just click on the player see how it looks like okay so look around and you can see I can go forward forward and here you can see the arrows where you can go that's really good uh, I'm surprised that uh, I haven't done anything yet uh, it's everything uh, generated by the website so I can go through 
here and look around uh, at the moment if you look at the address bar this is a very long link and uh, I don't think it's a good idea to share this link and I, uh, at the moment the uh, 3D2 is not published so uh, the next thing I want to do is is uh, click on the publish button to publish my 3D tool so now if I click on the player so you will see there is a very simple link here and let me copy the link I've got here the uh, Firefox private uh, window opened and I paste the link here okay now you can see the player allow you to browse around in this uh, in a different browser so it's published at the moment I'm using the uh, Chrome browser sometimes a uh, certain thing doesn't work uh, so well in the uh, Firefox browser